and welcome or welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing another shower and body care routine to have soft skin glowy skin and to smell good i hope you enjoy the theme is going to be like a strawberry shortcake type of theme getting in the shower first thing that i always start with is my feminine wash i really like this one because it's ph balance and it never causes any issues and then for the rest of my body for my base wash i'm using the dove sensitive skin bar soap really like this because it's unfragranced it's not going to break you out and it's just a good start so that you can have a clean slate i like to have a clean slate for scrubs and exfoliating for shaving and then also for layering scents and using other products so they can be more effective and then i make sure to use a neck cloth or some type of exfoliating cloth to really scrub my body lightly exfoliate and just get all the dirt and then i'll just use a washcloth for more sensitive areas now i'm going in with a body scrub this is the dove crushed macadamia rice milk body scrub and this smells really good if you like vanilla scents you'll like this this is one of my top favorite scrubs typically i like to do this at the very end of my shower just to have the scent and then like the moisturizing properties on my skin but today i'm shaving so i'm doing it before i shave to really exfoliate any dead skin and to kind of push the hair up and make it easier to get a close clean smooth shave today i'm using a shaving cream by billy i'm also using a razor from them as well i really like their shaving cream because it has a lot of slip and a little bit goes a long way and it really helps the razor glide across the skin so you can have an easy smooth shave i'm just shaving my arms my armpits and my legs now to finish up my shower, I'm using a moisturizing and scented body wash. I'm using the Old Spice Moisturize with Shea Butter Body Wash. I really like this body wash. It's like musky and fresh, but it also has vanilla undertones. So I really like this and I'm just using this step to make sure I get all the stray hair and to fully double cleanse my body. I'm using the nail brush to get my feet and scrub those down, but that's basically it for the shower. Once I get out the shower, I do like to use a towel even when I do have a robe so that I just don't get hot. And then I'm going to get into my deodorant. Firstly, I'm using this Thai Crystal deodorant. You wet it first. I usually use cool water and then you apply it like deodorant and you let it dry but basically it leaves salts on your armpits to prohibit bacteria growth which will prevent smell later on and then i'll let that dry while that's drying i'm going to use witch hazel on like a cotton pad or a wipe it will prolong freshness so you can use it in any crevice or corner that accumulates odor and then this is a serum to prevent ingrown after washing my hands i'm going to be using the princess my icy auto ray facial cleanser to wash my face and just get rid of any dirt i'm also going to be doing a mask so this will prepare my skin for that and at this point my armpits should be dry so i'm going in with this native ocean and timber deodorant just for the extra scent and protection if you need to pat your armpits dry from the stone you can do that as well i don't want them to stay wet for too long now I'm going to apply my mask. I'm just doing a DIY mask. I'm using Indian healing clay, apple cider vinegar, and a little bit of water. So I'm putting the clay in first and then I kind of just eyeball it, but you don't need a lot for your face. And then I'm putting the apple cider vinegar in and just a touch of water to kind of dilute the apple cider vinegar. You don't need much and then you kind of mix it into a paste. Mine's kind of turned out to be a little watery here, but it still worked and it pretty much works the same you just kind of mix it to your desired consistency just don't make it too apple cider vinegar heavy because it might irritate your skin but other than that i think it's fine and i just apply that in a kind of thinnish layer i'll leave it on for 10 minutes i don't like to let it get too dry but i do let it sit until it's like 90 percent dry and it just kind of clears your pores makes your skin super smooth and and detoxes In the meantime, while I let that sit and dry, I made myself some tea. Just find it very calming and you can put some herbs and stuff in there and make it even more beneficial. So just gonna let the water boil. In my tea, I'm gonna put a passion flower tincture, um, an elderberry tincture, and then I'll also add some honey. 
and the tea that I'm gonna be using is green tea and I'll mix it with ginger tea. I really like mixing my teas just to get the best flavor. So I'm gonna pour my hot water in and then I add everything and then let it steep. Not sure if that's the right way to do it, but that's the way that I do it. First of all, I'm gonna just get all the herbs and I don't know, good stuff out of the tea bag. And then I'll put honey in there for sweetness. This tincture is an elderberry tincture and it's really good for your immune system and it just kind of boosts it. This is passion flower. It is good for your nervous system and just calming you down. Just mixing that together. And then I just put like a paper towel over top to kind of contain things and let it steep so you can get the most flavor. And then it's been 10 minutes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my mask off. Put that on my face, let it sit, and then I'll start trying to lightly rub it off don't be too harsh on your skin and then you'll want to put moisturizer on after this because your skin will be dry now i'm going to go ahead and go in with a lip scrub just to exfoliate my lips this one's by lano lip i got it from ulta it's not super gritty really a light exfoliating step And then I'm using this Lano Lips ointment, which I actually really, really like. I want to try more of these and it smelled really good. It smelled very, very good. Definitely went with the routine. Here I'm just shaving off my little stash because it was bothering me. So I just took one of these little dermaplaning razors. I think it's from Flamingo and shaved off all that hair. And then I reapplied some moisturizer there so it wouldn't be irritated. Then I'm taking some unscented lotion. This is the Curarelle Fragrance Free Lotion. Taking this on my body to really moisturize my skin. And then I'm taking Vaseline on my pulse points. These are areas that hold on to fragrance better because of body heat like your wrists, ankles, inner elbows. Just so I can maximize the longevity. I'm following that up with this canvas body glaze and the strawberry shortcake scent. This is very sugary, sweet, has notes of vanilla, strawberry, and just smells like baked goods. This glaze is like a body butter, like oily, so it gives you a glow and it just looks so good and smells so good and feels so good on the skin. After that, I'll follow up with this Bodycology Strawberry Cheesecake Body Mist. This is from Walmart and it smells really, really good. It really complements the canvas body butter and it was only $5. So I'm just going in the top of my body, doing the body glaze and spraying the mist and then I'm going to my legs and doing the body glaze and then spraying the mist as well then i'll follow it up with this truly birthday sex perfume mist it's like fruity floral really complimented the body mist and overall i think everything combined pretty well and that is basically it so i really hope that you all enjoyed and i will see you in the next one